Skyhawk Sport Network here with head women's basketball coach Taylor Harris following the team's 76-61 loss to Black Hills State on Monday night. Coach, initial thoughts following tonight's game? Well, you know, I thought we ended the game well. Um, just defensively, it's really hard uh, when you give up 20-plus points for three straight quarters. You know, and a lot of those... You know, points off turnovers, points in the paint, stuff that we can't really fix. So I think we're trying, you know, looking at the positives, there's a lot of things that we can fix, and we're just going to go back to the film and look at ways that Black Hills, you know, exploited us on ball screens and in post touches where we had probably about half of our turnovers, and, and we'll grow from that. I mean, Black Hills is a good team. I mean, they're a top team in Armac for a reason, and uh, we'll just adjust uh, so we can try to get them at their place. You talked about the fourth quarter. You outscored Black Hills 20-12 to 12 in the fourth. A lot of that came from freshman Kate Gallery, who came off the bench, hit a pair of three-pointers, dropped in a layup. What have you seen from her and her growth this season? She told me after the game, she goes, I, I can only shoot in the fourth quarter. <laughs> and, um, she she works so hard. Um, you know, of our team, you know, she, she get, she's up there and getting in the gym more than almost anybody. And, she was in the gym today getting up 300 made threes today and she's just a, a hard worker and and I think above that she's bought in you know and, and for freshmen sometimes um, the biggest thing for a freshman is to buy into the process of a freshman and it's just a complete roller coaster ride and and she's bought into her team and her coaching staff and more importantly herself and and the journey that it's been and she's just grown so much this year so it's, it's just really great to see because she has a really bright future uh, as a Skyhawk. And we're talking about freshmen here. I know people are probably sick of me talking about it, but yeah. Billy had 25 <laughs> points tonight. She was 9 of 10 field goals, 5 of 6 from 3. At one point, she was, I believe, 8 of 8, yeah. which is up there with the school record. She seems to be really consistent, um, doesn't play like a freshman. What do you like about her? What do the players like about her? Well, she's just an immediate scoring threat. She can create her own shots. And, you know, in our game, you need somebody on the court that can create for you. Um, because when you go against the top defensive team in the RMAC, you have to have somebody that can just say, okay, I'm going to just go get a bucket. And, and Lene is like that. And, you know, like we've said before, Lene, her biggest fans are her teammates. You know, um, everybody is just loves playing with her loves being her teammate. She's an absolute pleasure to coach. Um, and, God, I mean, well, I don't know what more to say about it. Like, she's just uh, she's just great, you know. But she knows she has to grow, too. You know, she has to grow. And, and growing on the defensive end, growing on the uh, the ability to, you know, really value the basketball when, when teams are really focusing in on her. And I really saw that today. I thought we saw a great Lene Billy that um, grew from, you know, last week, when we played Adams, and, and I thought she, she made tremendous strides. And we're going to be talking about Black Hills again coming this Friday. Looking at the stat sheet, you guys outshot them from the field, outshot them from three, rebounds were nearly even. It looked like the big difference makers came on turnovers. What are you guys going to work on heading into Friday's game up in Spearfish? Yeah, just watching the film on, you know, they did a really good job of, trapping and blitzing our ball screens and then when we would get post touches the guards would sink in and go for those steals and um, they did a really good job of that so we'll just watch the film and watch those moments and everybody will learn and will collaborate together on a game plan to you know cut those turnovers you cut those turnovers by six by seven you know and all of a sudden that takes away some of those easy points and you know then we'll just have to make some adjustments on you know guarding the ball inside you know their post did a tremendous job today tremendous job so you know, we'll get back to the drawing board and got to go play in Spearfish. And, um, you know, we're excited. Any final thoughts about your upcoming road trip? Uh, this is, uh, we, we talked in the locker room before I came over here. Like, this this is our, you know, last road trip coming up as a team. And, uh, you know, we want to make it a memorable one and create memories that we'll always remember. So we're really excited. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.